台湾建筑最重要的就是它是作为一个行动，而不是只是去盖房子而已。这个行动的目的，它其实就是要进行一个社会实践，也就是说呢，那个我们怎么样，那个可以在这个建造的一个过程里面，可以跟社会大众可以维持一个开放而坦然的对话。那这个应该是我们在台湾的当代建筑里面一个非常重要的一个特质。This creativity and this respect to other. To other people, to landscape, as I said, to measure of uh, of space where we live, doesn't matter if it's Europe or Taiwan. Yeah, I got a. I, I was inspired to visit Taiwan again. When when you visit the art exhibition or uh, architecture exhibition, you always get inspired those ideas or concepts of the other artists. I have to say, I really like the, the idea that you have not only the paper or only the screen, but that you have both. That you have as well the physical model that you can see it in space, but that you have also the, the digital display or where you can see a render or like a video of it. I think uh, they they work good together hand in hand. Actually, we often say that all architectural exhibitions are fictional. Because the real exhibitions, regardless of any way, the exhibitions will not be in the event. When we do this exhibition of the art, we can use a more vibrant image to let the audience enter the exhibition space and like humans. 在里面做行走的时候，那其实我们已经呃克服了我们在以往的建筑展里面所没有办法可以做到的一种生动的状态。I really like these projects, which are working directly with public space. It's very close to social impact of architecture and. Also work with materials. Digitalization on exhibition, I think it depends on uh, who is an auditorium, because of uh, it's a different when you're presenting architecture to public or to architects. 对于这个展览的筹备，最大的帮助其实是布展。呃，在慕尼黑做布展的时候呢，我们大概差不多要需要两周的时间。那可是，当我们到到布拉格，我们整个时间大概降低了一半。到那个全世界不同的地方去做展览，其实都会变得要容易的非常多。这样的一种展览数位化，对于输出的减少，对于实体的这个依赖降低，那它其实可以让这个展览永续性可以变得更高。我们会非常希望呢，这样的一种经验，它可以带给这个全世界，让。让大家知道，建筑是有力量的，它可以那个可以带给人们那个更好的生活，可以改变呃社会，可以改变文化。